audio we are here with. Hi, I'm Scarf from ELAC and I'd like to tell you something about the news we have here on the high-end show. So we have here our new virus subwoofer series. Uh, it's um, free free product ranges in the series. Mm -hmm. okay. We have premium series, yes. which is uh, featuring free products. We have the reference series with two products and the dual reference series with two products as well. Okay, so seven products in total. Seven products in total. That's a lot. That's a lot, yes. <laughs> but we have the perfect subwoofer for every application. Okay. That's the reason for the bunch of subwoofers. Um, in the premium series, yes. so entry level, we have a ported design, so bus reflex design. Yes. We have three different sizes of drivers. We have a 10 inch, a 12 inch, and a 15 inch yes. in the wooden cabinet. Okay. It's equipped with um, a 250, a 350, and a 500 watt amplifier. Is wood or MDF? It's MDF, MDF yeah. of course. <laughs> Um, we are using our BASH technology yes. for reamplifiers, so high-efficient power supply mm -hmm. with an analog amplifier. Uh, this is a premium model, right? This is a premium series. Premium yes. series, three models. Yes, you're all right. three bus, bus reflex. All bus, bus reflex design. designs. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. In the next series, the reference series, we have a closed box design. Yeah. We have two models: a 10-inch and a 12-inch design. Um, we have amplifier power from 500 to 700 watts. Mm -hmm. On the reference series we have a new woofer. Yes. We are using our new HEX technology for the surround. Yes. It was chosen and developed um, to improve the movement of the subwoofer, mm -hmm. so have a bigger and larger linearity range. Yeah. On the subwoofers we have of course RCA inputs yes. and we have high level inputs as well. Yes. Um, so. And the next series is our dual reference series. There we have the HEX technology as well as you can see, mm -hmm. but we have now two woofers in one cabinet. Mm -hmm. It's done in a closed cabinet, yes. of course. It's done to eliminate the mechanical vibrations mm -hmm. and just to get sound, but no vibrations. So so more clear, clear, cleaner sound. Isn't yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. More cleaner, more... Less distortion. Less distortion if you want mm -hmm. to, yes. Uh, we have two models. We have a 10-inch and a 12-inch version. Yeah. It's equipped with a 1000 watt amplifier and the biggest one with a 1200 watts amplifier. Okay. So, a lot of power, a lot of precision mm -hmm. in a very compact cabinet. So all three models are designed for home theater and... Popular, of course, right? we are not designing mm -hmm. subwoofers for home theater or music application mm -hmm. in several. No, all subwoofers can be used for every application. It's just depending on your room and on your wish of performance. The cabinets from the premium series, we have a vinyl cabinet. Yeah. In the reference series, we have semi-gloss lacquering. Mm -hmm. And in the dual reference series, we have high-gloss lacquering. Okay. What about the amplifications? Are all class D, right? No, it's not class D. We oh. are all in every product. We are using Bash technology. Okay. It's a class D um, power supply yes. with an analog amplifier. Ah. So it has the efficiency of a modern class D amplifier, okay. Okay. but the sound of an analog one, of a class AB. This technology is uh, on all three models, right? It's in all the models. Yeah. It's a patented one. We are using it for a lot of subwoofers. Cool thing about the subwoofers is that you can control the subwoofers by app. You can do all the settings with your app from your listening position. Um, it's in all seven products. Uh, it's called, the, the app is called Subcontrol 3.0. Mm -hmm. uh, available for iOS or Android as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's easy. So you can use your smartphone for the automated measurement. Yes. It's done by a relative measurement. So you are doing, you are doing two measurements, uh, one very close to the subwoofer and one on the listening position. Yes. And by the difference, the subwoofer is calculating the corrective curve. Okay. okay. Very comfortable and very good for sound. How's it working? <laughs> hmm? How is working? Because I don't have good experience with the it is working. microphone. Smartphone microphone. You don't. And you don't. Only uh, is Apple and Android or iOS? 
and Android or only? Both, iOS and Android. And you don't have to worry about the quality of the microphone okay. on the smartphone because you're doing two measurements okay. and you're only um, calculating the difference of okay. both. Okay. So the quality of microphone mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Right, it's okay. just done by the, the by the difference. Okay. So. That's interesting. Yeah, that's very nice and it works really, really perfect. Uh, we can show you later on. And can the microphone of the smartphone reading 20 hertz and something like that? Yes, it can. Okay. Because I know uh, I had experience with uh, other apps like that. And yeah. They use it only on iOS because they didn't know on Android which type of microphone mm -hmm. is inside. Yes. But it's not the case. No, it's not the case because okay. we are doing only the relative measurements. Yeah. If you want to use a smartphone yeah. for an absolute measurement, so yeah. you want to see the frequency response yeah. in total, okay. I wouldn't recommend the microphone of a smartphone mm -hmm. for that. But we are doing two measurements, calculating it, mm -hmm. and the microphone is okay. not relative. In any anymore. case, you have parametric equalization also on the app? Yes, okay. you can use the automated measurement, yeah. you can switch it off, but yeah. you're able to use 10 uh, um, parametric equ yeah. equalizers as well to improve the sound to your personal gusto. Okay. And all functions are enabled for all subwoofer, right? Yes. The you, same functions. Yeah, so. same functionality on every subwoofer. Okay, interesting. So here you can see the Subcontrol 3.0 app. Uh, we are now in the listening room and we have connected our Dual Reference Series 1000 subwoofer, the DS1000, mm -hmm. as you can see here. So, I, it's now connected to the app, and as you can see, our subwoofer is already set up. We have a, a volume to brought to 55. Of course, you can exchange the volume setting as you want to, but this is not the magic. You have some presets if you want uh, to listen to music, maybe with a little bit more deep bass or listen or, or see a movie maybe you're in need of some more punch in the bass mm -hmm. this can be chosen in a very fast way but as you can see by uh, using the setup you're able to set up the low pass frequency yeah. you're able to use the face angle you're able to set up a delay maybe oh, for some uh, theater or whatever application maybe you're in need of. You can do some uh, set up some settings in the for the power mode. So maybe you want to have a subwoofer always on, mm -hmm. or maybe it should be switched on automatically yeah. and switch off. You can set the threshold level by your own. Um, as told before, you have eight eight. Um, parametric equalizers yeah. um, to improve the sound. You can uh, choose the central frequency, the bandwidth of a filter, and of course the gain. So, and oh, okay, a small feature you can uh, choose the intensity of the LED as well. So, maybe you want to have it off because in your theater it's disturbing, uh, just put it off. And as we talked about before, all subwoofers are equipped with the auto EQ functionality. Uh, okay. So the subwoofer wants you to place the smart device very close to the subwoofer. And as shown in the picture, I could do it and I start the, mm -hmm. uh, the measurement. And then it asks you to bring the smart device to your listening position. And you do another measurement. Maybe I can. We can do so. So we are bringing now the smart device to the subwoofer, and we are choosing start. So as you can see, we have now <coughs> measured the curve, and we are now going to our listening position and doing another measurement. <laughs> so once more.
So, the measurement is done, and as you can see, the subwoofer measured a difference between the both curves, and the, um, the yellow one is the corrected curve. As you can see, there are some uh, drops and some peaks, and the corrective curves uh, is now compensating that. That's all. Auto cue is done, and now you are able to listen and play. <laughs> to listen to the subwoofer with auto EQ enabled okay. or disabled. Or disabled. Oh, so okay. you can hear the difference. Super. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Ciao, ciao.